terrible. But I really feel terrible for the Holocaust survivors that are still alive. You know, that they have to bear witness to this kind of behavior um, is traumatic for them. After rapper Kanye West made anti-Semitic comments on a podcast this week saying he loves Nazis and likes Hitler, a spokesperson for the Jewish community in Vancouver says they're fed up. The idea that platforms are still being given to people to spew this kind of hateful rhetoric that is not just, um, you know, untrue, um, it is also dangerous uh, to the safety of our community. Hate crimes targeting religious groups are up across the country. Benai Brith Canada says 409 anti-Semitic hate crimes were recorded in British Columbia alone in 2021. That's more than a 110% increase over the year before. Shankin says here in Vancouver, Jewish businesses have had their doors kicked in, swastikas have appeared, and the spread of Holocaust denial is traumatizing. We have witnesses of these atrocities. This is not a question mark. This is, this is a period. It is a fact. The Holocaust happened. The people that were affected by it, some of them are still alive. And this kind of hate doesn't just affect adults, it hurts kids too. Last year we actually had a family who approached us. Uh, they were in public school and their daughter was targeted with uh, anti-Semitism at her school. And so uh, as a result, they decided that uh, they were going to actually move her schools and that's uh, why she joined our school community here at Richmond Jewish Day School. The school's principal says they have a counselor there who can talk through the anti-Semitism students experience and they're encouraged to embrace their religious identity. We actually try and teach our students throughout the day as part of our uh, instruction around our core competencies about personal responsibility and actually being proud of their own identities and who they are. CEO Shankin says allies of the Jewish community can help fight anti-Semitism by calling it out and educating others. We are going to fight this. We are not going to step back and allow this type of rhetoric to become mainstreamed into our society. We will fight it every time that we see it. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.